Okay, good morning everybody. Welcome back. So today's video I thought that I would do a oh my toast is ready. Today's video I thought I'd do a week in my life. So I've been doing a lot of like daily stuff recently or like weekend two day kind of things recently. So I thought I would do a whole week as I have the time. This week I've pretty much got uni and work and like the markets on the weekend and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, that'll bring you along. So I have just tanned, but I am about to call up the mechanic because I need to book in for a retro check because it runs out today. <laughs> yeah, I talk about leave it to the last minute, but my retro runs out today or the end of the day. So I need to get it done before then so I can renew it. So I'm going to call them and see if they can fit me in. It's the guy that Clancy goes to and he says that he's really, really nice and he should be able to do it. And if I call him straight away and I'm ready to leave when I call him, that if I can get there early enough, he'll do it like straight away and he'll do it in like 10 minutes. Um, I was really worried it was going to take forever because I work at 11. But Clancy was like, if he's able to do it, it will take him like 10, 15 minutes. Like I've seen him do a retro check in 10 minutes before. And I was like, okay, fingers crossed. But I'm going to make my toast and get changed because obviously I can't go in this. And then I need to take my work clothes with me just in case. Ugh, please don't mind my hands. I don't know what happened to them. I need to take my work clothes just in case it takes longer for whatever reason. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm probably going to, no, I am going to do that. And then we shall leave. Alright, so it's actually a public holiday today, which means that the hours of all the businesses are like different, which makes it a lot harder for me. But I did just book in with someone who can do it at 3.30, so not quite the morning rush that I was expecting, which is good. But also, it is a bit later, which means that I'm cutting it even closer to driving an unregistered vehicle, so I love that. But... Yeah, I have to rush pretty much. It's going to be an afternoon rush. So I have to rush pretty much from work in Belconnen to Queen Bean, which is like a 40 minute drive. And I only have half an hour to do it. <laughs> I think I'll do it. Like if I take the highways, it'll be totally fine. Yeah, I'm going to go from Belconnen to Queen Bean at 3. So I can be there at 3.30 um, just so that I can get this check done. Um, as for now, I'm still hungry. So I'm going to have a Milo. And just kind of relax I guess I don't have to leave for to um leave for work for another um hour so I'll get changed and stuff at home obviously and yeah then I will head to work it looks like the sun's starting to come out it was really cold this morning we shall see how that all goes and then I can send the details off to mom so that she can help with my regist <clears throat> with my registration which will be very good yeah i'm going to have some more food and then i'll catch up with you guys later okay so i'm just at the car place i finished work Luke let me leave a little bit early which is good so that i could get here in time so my appointment's at 3 30 and it's 3 18 so she let me leave early so i didn't speed i got here <laughs> with plenty of time so i'm gonna head in I just had to clean all the rubbish out of my car except there's still confetti everywhere from the balloons for my birthday. But that's alright. So, I'm going to head in, give them my keys and everything like that. And chuck out this disgusting drink that's got mold in it so they don't think I'm gross. Um, okay, yeah, I'm going to go head in, give them the keys in my car and everything and then go for a walk. I might even call Dad and see if he wants to do something after I finish. Maybe him to pay for um, a tank of fuel. <laughs> Alrighty, okay. Baby! You, mister, I heard a little birdie told me you were very naughty. Yeah, you were. I heard that you were very, very naughty. That's what I heard because look at this. <gasps> that was you. You ripped it. A beautiful new plant. And you ruined it. That was a lot of money, that plant. Yeah. 
What have you got to say for yourself? Oh, yeah. You gonna stop? Are you gonna not play with the plants anymore? Hmm? Okay. Don't know if I believe you, but we shall see. Hey. Hey! <laughs> oh. Alrighty, so my car check went well, the car passed, the register's done, everything is fine. I didn't have any driving an unregistered vehicle tomorrow, which is good. Um, <laughs> I didn't film it, but I checked my car in and they were like, are you going to stick around? And I was like, I'll go for a walk. So I started walking and there was like signs for Chemist Warehouse and uh, some other shops. So I was like, I'll just go and have a look in chemist warehouse i did end up getting some stuff which i'll show you in a second but i got into the chemist warehouse and i was looking and i while i was walking there i was like oh it kind of looks like it's gonna rain like i hope i don't get caught in the rain and then uh, i went to chemist warehouse i was looking for some stuff and then i just heard the rain on the roof and it was pouring like like so much like coming up right down I was so worried that I was going to have to walk back in the rain to go pick up my car but I kind of just waited in Chemist Warehouse and, and it was like probably like only like 15 minutes that it was actually pouring but it was so so hard and I have fake tan on that I haven't washed off yet so I was really worried about walking back in the rain um, but yeah then it cleared up and I was like oh once it like stopped raining I was like I need to run back just in case it starts raining again. Um, but yeah, I didn't get caught in the rain, but that was like scary that I could have. Anyway, um, I went to Chemist Warehouse and I did get some stuff. I got like two things, but still. So I have the Barley Body um, Bronzing Lotion and the Coconut Tanning Oil. I did have the Gradual Tanner, but I just didn't like it. Um, I use the Model Co Tan at the moment, which is what I have on now that I have to wash off. But Chemist Warehouse sells the Barley Body um, Tanning Mousse, and I got it in the Ultra Dark. So I thought that I'd give this just a try because I had to buy more tan anyway because my other one's running out. So I'll have this for next time, but I wanted to give it a try to see if it was any good because I have seen that these ones are really good, and I really like the tanning oil and the um, bronzing oil, but I just didn't like the Gradual Tanning Lotion. So we'll see how this goes. And then I also got some of the white glow charcoal teeth whitening strips so these are deep stain removal professional whitening results removes up to 10 years of stains in seven days you'll have to see if these actually work but i might even just do a video purely on testing these out i'm not sure apart from that i'm really hungry so i'm gonna get changed i was gonna film a video this afternoon i just don't know if i have enough time before clancy gets home not that like i can't film in front of him but it's a video that he's gonna like kind of be shocked by when he walks in if I'm like halfway through it or like if I'm finishing. So I don't know, but I have two hours till he gets home and I feel like that's enough time if I like do it pretty, pretty, pretty quick pace. So we'll have to see. But yeah, I'm starving. So I'm gonna make some food. I'm not sure what yet. Um, and probably just maybe like watch a video while I eat and then see if I want to do this video. If not, like, I don't work on Tuesday, so I could do it... Well, I work 1 to 4, so I could do it Tuesday afternoon. Um, but in saying that, if I did it Tuesday afternoon, I just have the same amount of time as I do now to do it. So, I'm not sure. We shall see. So, I will check in with you guys um, a bit later, but I'll show you, like, what I end up cooking and all that kind of stuff. So...
Okay, I've just put my hair in two little buns, uh, just because I'm going to wash my tan off and then put on some moisturizer so that it lasts longer. Um, I'm not going to take my makeup off or do like any skincare or anything till tonight, just because I'm going to film some try on clips. I have food on my mouth. Some try on clips for a video that I'm filming tomorrow, so I'm going to leave my makeup on, um, but I'll take it off later tonight or anything. So. I'm going to do that. I don't know if we even have any moisturizer, but I hope we do because um, I need it. We are going to have skewers for dinner later on, so I will catch up with you when we are cooking up. Alrighty, so we've got our dinner and we're watching the Megan and Harry tell all after what the day after the US got it um, which by the time you guys are seeing this would have been a couple of weeks ago now but I'm really excited to watch it so we're gonna have dinner and do that and then I'll check in with you guys when I'm doing my skincare all right so I'm going to do my skincare now so I'm going to take you guys through it just because I've started doing something new it's really recent so I'm not sure if it's gonna work or not um, I am going to be naughty though and just take my makeup off with a, with a makeup wipe. <laughs> this is the first like step. I do do another cleanse. This is just like easy at the moment and I haven't repurchased um, like a cleanser to use with my face halo yet. So I need to do that. After I do that, I go in with the A Ayla Skin uh, pomegranate exfoliator facial scrub on my face halo um so i just like um, chuck a little bit of that on just wet it a little bit and then use my face halo to do a little bit of a exfoliate especially my nose is probably the worst in terms of it not coming off and then i'll wash that off the face halo and then just wash my face with some more water as well now my skin is feeling pretty smooth because the other day i went in with the lamay skin um microdermabrasion kit so i did that the other day so my skin's feeling really good i'm gonna try and do that twice a week um but no more than that and then now so i did this last night but this is the formula um is that what it's called? Formula 10.0.6. I don't know if that's the brand. It's called the Total Takeaway Skin Purifying Bubble Mask. I did that last night, so I'm not going to do it tonight. But I am going to go in with the Balance Me Out Breakout Fighting Daily Toner Hemp Plus, plus Salicylic Acid um, Toner. And I don't have any cloths or anything, so I'm going to use my fingers, which probably isn't the best, but like... Does it work? Yes. It doesn't smell the best, not gonna lie. Like, not even gonna lie. It smells a tiny bit like nail polish remover. Right, then I'm gonna go in with the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. I love the packaging for this. Um, and this is actually the mini version, but it's taking me so long to get through it, which is good. Like, I don't use it every night, or I haven't been. I'm going to try to use it every night with, with this stuff that I'm using. Oh, it feels so nice. Um, but I'm definitely gonna buy the full, like full size when I run out. I'm just gonna literally put the excess everywhere. <laughs> and then, so for moisturizer, um, I do have the formula Picture Perfect Day Gel Moisturizer with SPF. Um, guava and vitamin C but because I'm about to go to bed I'm I'll use that in the morning but because I'm gonna go to bed I've got the glow recipe watermelon pink juice moisturizer and hydrate so I'm gonna use this and then just two final steps I'm gonna go in with the Locatan reset um, I don't even know what it's really called whatever this is um, it's supposed to be for your eyes so I'm just gonna use this under my eyes so it is an eye serum and then I'm gonna go in with the summer Fridays lip butter balm this I love this so much 
need to remember to use it more because it's expensive <laughs> um because my lips get so dry and i have brushed my teeth and that kind of stuff because i'm probably going to the interview's still on but i did really just want to come and take all my makeup and stuff off because it was just like felt really heavy on my face so i will go back out and watch that but then i'm going to be heading to bed so um <laughs> with that being said i'm going to do all that and i'll see you guys in the morning okay good morning everybody it's the next day and i'm not happy <laughs> Ugh. I just tried to film my whole video and I just was not feeling it like I have to be in the mood to film those kind of videos like so bad and I was just sat there like this is this pair of pants like for fuck's sake come on so I'm gonna try and film it later I just can't be fucked <laughs> right now to be honest um, my makeup looks like shit. I'm not happy with it at all, which sucks because I'm going to do something important today and it looks shit. <laughs> um, like I literally look like I have like bug eyes, like my eyeliner goes like all the way fucking up like this. Yeah, the lights made it look really white, so I did it too dark because I was like, no, it looks white on my face. And then got out here and I was like, I look like I have an uh, oompa loompa face and bug eyes, so... Not happy about that, but can I be bothered changing it? No, I can't. Um, my hair is sticking out everywhere, and I've done my hair like this before, and that hasn't happened, so I'm not happy about that. I'm hungry, <laughs> but I'm not at the same time. <sighs> I'm just annoyed about that fucking video. It's 17 degrees today. I'm working at Betts. It's going to be freezing like it always is so i don't even know what to wear i don't know what to wear because i'm doing this important thing before i go there and i have to look good for it but then i have to go to bed so i don't know what i'm gonna wear oh the morning the morning has just been a piece of poo I'm not even hungry but i'm starving at the same time i'm gonna have watermelon um skip ahead if you don't like people talking about food but i am just trying to eat a little bit less at the moment not for weight loss reasons not because you know, well that's pretty much not because of that not because of weight loss reasons just because i eat too much and then i feel like shit <laughs> i feel bloated and i feel disgusting so I am trying to eat a little bit less. Like, yeah, like I said, not for any weight loss reasons. I just don't want to feel bloated. And I bloat really, really easily. So, yeah, we we shall see how that goes. So I don't want to have, like, anything, like... And I need to stop drinking as much milk. Because I honestly think that that's contributing to it. And I've been able to have milk my whole life. But I swear, for some reason, I've become, like lactose intolerant or something or something to do with milk because whenever I drink it now I feel sick <laughs> so I need to cut down on the Milo's but I love them so it's going to be so hard to do that and the coffees I need to cut down on the coffees I'm also worried about going to work today because of the paper parking I literally have 50 cents <sighs> yep mm -hmm. and it's like it's nine o'clock like I have to leave at 11.30. Well, just before 11.30. I don't know what the... F I have... <laughs> Alright, so I'm just at work at the moment. We've re-merged and redone the front windows. I'm just putting stock away, but at the moment I'm just calculating how much over and under budget per hour we were yesterday and then so far today. But, yes. Yeah, not much going on tomorrow. I'm currently doing interviews because me and Jesse are both leaving. So that's about it. I got myself a boost juice. Mum is staying with us tonight. Um, and the amazing race is on tonight. So very excited. And we're having... We're having pork. <laughs> oh my god. Every time. It's not fair. Every time I bloody film, I'm cooking pork. that well but yeah this is what i have to do so i pretty much 
So this is how we have much we have to make per hour. This is how much we made and then I calculate how under or over it was. So this is obviously $96 under our budget and then 202 is 106 over. So then yeah, then I add all these, add or take away all these together. This one was pretty much just adding them all, but this one I'm gonna have some that I have to take away. Boom boom that we were $300 over our budget which then I look on how much we made oh, this is for today but like I look on how much we made and how much our budget was and see if they um, equal up I would do like um, it for individual persons but because we don't have many people of um, like on um, the rosters at the moment and like many staff we just didn't know who was working so we haven't done any of this but i could probably do it for today because me and tomorrow are working so i can show you guys that when i'm done but yeah that is pretty much it for work and we have heaps of shoes that we have to put away in the back because we removed everything so that is what we are doing today but i am probably going to check in with you guys when i get home because clinton messaged me and he's like getting up and he's playing with because he was really antsy um, when Clancy left and Clancy didn't get a chance to play with him so I need to do that when I get home. I'm going to do some editing. I'm not going to film today. I just, I'll do it in the morning and just like not in a good, I feel like trying to do it in the same day that I fail at doing it is just like not a good idea. Is your view okay? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, good morning everybody. So. so I am covering a shift this morning so I have to leave in about half an hour so I need to get ready but I had a shower last night so I'm not going to do that tonight tonight this morning I did however buy this um it's literally just from Target vitamin E body butter that's supposed to moisturize and hydrate renew and restore and my legs are looking a little bit crusty and I always like to use something a little bit thicker like a body butter when I do have tan on just to help it last a bit longer so I'm going to do this brush my teeth get dressed and I'll see you guys when I'm about to leave alrighty so I just finished work I'm so tired <laughs> but I'm going to head home um, I'm going to head home, probably get changed, I want to do some skincare and I also want to do my nails as well. And I have to do uni and I have to edit. Well, I don't have to edit, but I want to. But I'm going to uh, check in with you guys when I get home and uh, explain like kind of my plan for the afternoon. Okay, so I just got home and I just changed. But I actually had to buy, um, I actually went and had to buy some vitamin E and some vitamin D tablets because... I need to start taking them. So I need to take. Oh, all stuck. I need to start taking vitamin E because my levels are low, and vitamin D because my levels are low because of my hospital appointment. I already had these, but my iron levels have always been quite low. So I do have some iron tablets, and then also just in terms of collagen and my nails and my hair, um, I have some hair, skin, and nails tablets. Now, I haven't been taking these long enough to, like, consistently see a, a definite change. Honestly, the most change that I've seen in my nails and in my hair was, one, taking my extensions out and letting my actual hair not have any, like, thing in it. I do wear my ponytail extensions, but I also think that that's helping because I can take them out and my nails this is the longest that they've probably ever been and not broken but that is because i have acrylics on them i go to a nail tech who does it from home so she does forms instead of putting the tips on and i think the glue and the tips really ruin your nails where is when you do just have the acrylic on the top um, especially what I've done is I actually have just a really thin layer just to protect them Normally when you get all the like nail art and stuff done, they have to keep building it up and they end up being really Really thick. These are quite thin and they're just like a protective layer on my nails. So 
that's really helped because they haven't been breaking so they've been able to grow um especially like working in retail like doing boxes and everything um especially when your nails are really weak they snap super easy so just having the acrylic on to make them a little bit thicker and stronger um and like less breakable has really helped them grow as well and i normally get really annoyed when i have long nails but i think because these are the length of my natural nails like i don't know if you guys can see my natural nails underneath but this is like the proper length of my natural nails um rather than having like the acrylics go longer than my natural nails so i think that's why i haven't been annoyed with them because this is what they would be anyway but um in a second i am going to paint my nails but i thought considering i have to start taking these and i did just buy them i might as well take them now so i'm gonna do one of each <laughs> gonna add vitamin up um, and I did make a tea, but I am going to have this with water. So I want to do some editing. I think I'm going to do my nails first, but I want to do some editing because you guys will see, well, hopefully you've already seen my appointment video, but there's some footage from that that I think I might have lost. So I really want to try and find it, which I, I think it's gone. And I don't think I have the original footage anymore because I'm just like, I go through what, well, not usually, but at the moment I've just been going through videos super super quickly so i've been deleting my old content like old footage to make room to film new videos so now i don't really have like any of the original footage from videos that haven't been uploaded yet so if i delete something then i don't have it which i think is what ha has happened which i'm a little bit annoyed about but i mean it's my own fault like if i accidentally did delete it which i'm hoping i didn't but i think i did if, if you if i haven't been able to find it you guys would already know because it would be in the video like oh i lost this footage um so you guys would have already seen it i can't open this what is up um, but i don't know what i want to do with my nails i don't know if i want to do like all fancy colors if i want to do like they have to be suitable for work so i did actually buy these two elf brushes to do my nails so they're not actually for um makeup but i just got this um a little flat flat brush here and a little pointer brush because i'll chuck up some photos but these this is the kind of style that i want to do that i'm really liking at the moment i might take two vitamin d um don't take vitamins okay i'm taking this without my doctor's recommendation um, but this is for hair, skin, and nails. So I'm hoping that, like, you can make your own decision to take stuff for, like, collagen and all that kind of stuff. Um, but maybe do as I say, not as I do, and check with the doctor before you start actually taking vitamins. But from my annual review for my CF, I have to take the vitamin D, the E, and the iron. So those I do have to take but um <laughs> maybe just ask about like if you want to take stuff like this which I haven't so like I said do as I say and not as I do here they all are my little handful oh down the hole and the iron ones don't taste very good I've been bloating so bad recently and I have these liver detox pills that I literally bought so long ago and kind of have never been consistently taking them but i only just read it um and it says helps relieve indigestion and bloating so i'm going to take one of these as well okay so i'm just set up on the table i also have my um little towel here so i don't get anything on the table and i have my nail kit box i guess you could say um, I did my cuticles, I cut my cuticles back um, a little while ago, so I don't think I need to, to redo that, and I push them back as well. But what I want to do is file my nails into a bit of a nicer shape, so I don't know if you guys can see, but they're a bit like triangular at the moment. I want to thin them down and make them a little bit more almond, and then, yeah, I want to try and do that squiggle design. But I only really have white to work with or like these really bright colors here. So I just don't know if it's going to look good. I'd probably go for the purple out of all of those ones because I have this really nice blue, oh, blue color here, but it's like a gel. So I will have to set it, which I don't really want to do. I'd rather just let them dry naturally. 
Yeah, I might play around with it. I do have nail polish remover. I don't like it. And I have cotton pads as well. So, yeah, I'm going to have a play with around with it. Get my nail brushes. I'm going to watch some YouTube and see what I come up with. Okay, so I've done one hand, so I've decided to do like white tips, but do like little squiggles. This thumb took me so freaking long, like you will not believe, but yes, this is what they look like. I think I might even add a little bit on the side of this one, but holy moly. I don't think I'm going to be able to do the other hand because this really did just take me so long to do. I'm going to try and do the other hand, but oh my god, I'm gonna struggle because I was using my right hand which is my hand that I use <laughs> I'm right-handed to do my left hand obviously and it still took me so long so we shall see I might even just have to um, stick to the one hand I'm not sure so oh yikes okay so I'm back in the bathroom I finished my nails I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see is it gonna focus um and then that thumb I did do this thumb because this thumb was being a bitch and I got so angry. So this thumb is a little odd one out because it deserves it because it was being a little bitch. Um, made me really mad, I'm not going to lie. But um, I am going to do some skincare now because I did my La May Microdermabrasion Kit a couple days ago and it made my skin so nice my skin feels so nice today so I do have just like a couple of like bumps and stuff around here that I do want to fix so I'm gonna do it again I've actually only really recently started redoing this because I watch um, Alana Abucci on YouTube and she said to do this twice a week and she's been doing it for ages um, she has a different brand um, of the thing than me um, but she said that she's been doing it and it's really been helping her skin and she's been doing it for a while So I was like, oh, I actually have one of those So let me do it and see if it helps me. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna put a little bit of water on my face to Help it like slide around and I'm just watching a YouTube video. So I'm going to do that Alrighty, so now that that is all done, I'm probably going to, I haven't edited yet, so I'm probably going to do that. Um, it is, oh, 7.30, project's already over, wow. Yeah, I'm just going to do that, I think, chill on the couch maybe, wait for Clancy to get home. He has soccer tonight, so he won't be home until like 9-ish, but well, we both at work tomorrow, so that's fine for dinner. So we have to think of something to have for dinner. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that, and I will... Either check in with you guys for dinner or I will check in with you guys when tomorrow. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, so hello. It's the next day and I'm editing this video and I was supposed to film a whole week's worth of footage for this video and I've only filmed like three days and this video is already 35 minutes long so I'm going to end it here <laughs> but I hope you guys really enjoyed it if you did make sure to like and subscribe down below if you have not done so already 
as well as follow me on my social media which will be down below as well and I'll see you in the next one.